Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to fix the ntldr and ntdetect.com file missing on boot up. Now, what I need to do is obviously delete these files so we can actually repair them. Now, I'm going to be using a piece of software to repair, repair these, whereas before I've used the Windows CD. I'm getting a lot of emails from people saying I haven't got Windows CD and whatnot. So, let's go Tools, Folder Options, View. Show hidden files, show the Opera protected operating system files. And the first thing I want to do is delete this file and ntldr, that one. So I just want to delete these two files here. Um, and with deleting those two files, we now want to reboot the machine. and we should get that error message up and then we'll be able to go along and fix that pretty easily so there we go, there's the error message, we are actually getting the NTL DR error message now so what I'm going to do is boot to the CD ROM drive with my repair CD in boot up and there is a load of different types of um, software that you can use. This is another one of these Spot May Mayu or something like that, I think it's uh, called. And this will do the same sort of job as a lot of the other ones out there. I mean, I've just picked this one because I had it in my folder. Let this just load up. Okay, that's nearly loaded in now. So just let this load in, it takes a bit of time. What we're going to do is this will have already uh, the files on it because it's a common error. We'll just click OK there. This, this software is about $49 comes in pretty handy if you fix PCs and stuff quite a bit so basically it is your options you've got now we want to do the Windows recovery part so I'm going to click on Windows recovery and then Windows recovery down here this will give us a lot of options the next option that I want is miss file recovery option click on that yes I want it to run on Windows XP C drive scan and that's telling me what files exist and what ones are missing it says ntldr is missing and so is the ntdetect.com is missing so click OK and then push recover and then basically click OK again just sort of goes through says you sure you wanna now I don't wanna overwrite this one because that one was fine so I'll just say no to that Say no to the ntfs.sys. Yes to this one because that was missing, and that one was missing. And then reboot the machine. just reboot the machine up and we should go straight into Windows like so and that's it I'll let this boot up to Windows to show you what it's done okay now if I go to the C drive you'll probably find the files aren't hidden anymore because it's copied them across there you go they're not hidden as you can see the reason for this obviously is it's just copied them across. If you wanted to make these uh, hidden like these, all you need to do at this point is right click properties, type hidden, apply an OK, and they would then become hidden. It's as simple as that really. So that's one bit of software to to fix the same problem 
and a lot easier than actually if you've got no Windows CD. Forty nine dollars isn't that expensive. So my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. I hope this uh, solves your problem. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.